Hey, what's up, YouTube? We just wanted to give you guys a walk around of the new Beetle we just picked up. It's a 1965. So it has been repainted. The Beetle was blue originally, but it was a different tone. And it has been lowered up front with the spindles. The rear, I think it was adjusted and lowered a little bit. It has rear pop-out windows. Like these bumpers, we were actually looking for a 67 and older. So this is a 65, so it's pretty good. We're gonna redo some stuff like the muffler and stuff, but for the most part, we wanna keep the patina and work on the interior and the suspension. The body's pretty straight except for these dents right here. There's a pretty big one right here. Smaller one right here on the door. It has the smoothies. I think that's what they call these wheels. Overall, the car is pretty, pretty good. I mean, we drove it for about an hour and a half home uh, last night when we picked it up. And it did pretty good on the freeway hitting 65 to 75 the whole way home this is our very first uh beetle ever so we're gonna learn a lot from this one pop the hood open it's pretty clean not much rust and the wiring is pretty decent i've seen it work And um, our plan is pretty much just to take it to a bunch of shows and cruise it on the and, you know, have it sort of a daily. So, original stereo. Uh, the gas gauge works, sort of. Uh, the speedometer works. I don't know if it's the original one. We were told it was converted to a 12 volt and that the engine was swapped for a bigger engine. Man, we're not too sure about that because we don't know about these vehicles, but we'll learn, I guess. It's pretty cool. I mean, we drove it today a couple of miles and it's pretty decent. So this is the original blue. It's really nice. I wish it was this color. But oh well. Uh, it's pretty solid. There is some rust right here. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more rust underneath. We did check out one more, one other beetle. And it had way much more rust right here. So, all this is pretty solid. I don't know. It has some vents right here. Uh, we need to work on this because it's really loose. And these screws are stripped. So, we're going to have to replace the, those. Uh... These are pretty solid floor pans up front. There's some rust over there on that side. So, let's see about this. We we'll have to figure out something about the seat belts. The front has seat belts, but not the rear seats. So, we're going to look into that. And, um, this is pretty solid. There is surface rust. On that side, the battery tray had a big hole, I guess, and they threw in a floor pan and they just uh, do some self tapping screws. So we're gonna fix that. Trunk space back here, looks really nice. We're not sure about what we're gonna do about the headliner. Maybe just clean this up. Maybe get a headliner in there. We're not sure yet. Uh, we're going to remove this for sure. Just get it kind of nice in here, you know. Not too sure how to remove these seats. All right, let me try to remove these seats and then I'll put you guys back on. So it does have a 12 volt battery. And um, it's not too bad back here. The pan numbers do match 
the pen and the body with the title so that was a big plus for us uh, and put the seat back in show you guys the dashboard real quick the horn works oh we have to the light switch forgot what he oh these are the wipers and the little ashtray uh, uh, I already ordered the knobs for the radio these two knobs on eBay so this is the, the glove box I don't know what this is for has a couple of things in there and then it has the wipers what else oh i just picked this up as well which we know that it's not you know safe even with this on but we're gonna add a couple more things uh to make it a bit safer at least to hit the grocery stores or wherever we decide to take this and we're also missing the sun visors both of them so we're gonna look into getting those pretty soon show you guys the engine we're also going to be ordering the matching uh cylinder key things so we can have one key for everything this is the engine we're gonna be going over a couple of these things and just making sure everything is nice and tight. Make it more reliable. What else? The roof rack we're gonna remove because we do know that they take those pretty easy. So that's coming off for now. We're just gonna throw it on whenever we go for a cruise or we hit a show. So I'm about to go air up these tires. This one's pretty low. I pumped gas this morning and it took about $18 and a couple of cents. It wasn't completely empty, but it was pretty low. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the little walk around. And leave a comment down below if you guys know how to remove this paint and get it back to the original paint. You know, it's okay if we scratch it the patina thing looks pretty cool and also if you guys know any tips of how to make it a little safer to where we could you know take it anywhere and not have it to worry about it too much i know there's kill switches out there and locks and stuff want to know if any of you bug guys out there uh know any tips and tricks and stuff also follow us on instagram at yonke underscore oxc film we'll be posting more pictures of this bug on there so yeah we'll catch you guys on the next one